Well, guys, it was another pretty standard weekend of eBay sales for me. If we pull the numbers up, I had just under $1,000 worth of revenue. We had 23 sales and I had an average sale price of basically $40, which is always what I'm aiming for. I wanted to take you through three of my favorite sales from this weekend in this video. The first one that I've got for you is Mario Party 9 on the Nintendo Wii. I picked this one up in a pawn shop about, I reckon about three weeks ago now. I paid $39 for it, I've had to remove the tag, but 39 bucks was the purchase price, 65 was the sale price. So guys, I've only made $13 worth of profit when you take out fees and postage, but it was the way that it came about. It was just buying it from a pawn shop at an elevated price point. Normally I would pass, normally I would run away from it, but my experience in just knowing what I can get items sold for on eBay versus what the purchase price is at the time allowed me to pocket $13 that I reckon about six months ago I wouldn't have done. So basically what I'm trying to say here is don't be afraid to spend up for items you know you're gonna get a relatively quick return on that will end up generating you some profit. So really cool to see Mario Party 9 come through. The next one, I bought this just yesterday, guys. This was the under 20s uh, New Zealand Warriors NRL jersey and it was uh, signed by Sean Johnson. Um, I got somebody uh, off watching the video to let me know who that signature was, so thank you to that person. But uh, we had a viewer of the channel as well go ahead and purchase this one for 85 bucks. It actually was only up on my store for about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes before it got snappled up. So thank you very much. Uh, I think it was Alicia Gibson that purchased that one out of WA. So a huge thank you to you. Um, that one's profited me about $36 when we throw it into the e-profit calculator. But my best, my best weekend sale was this one right here. Another jersey, guys. Jerseys just sell really well for me. We've got a uh, West Coast Eagles. This is a number 44 player issue, David Wirapunda jersey. Now, player issue jerseys do very, very well. This one sold in the space of four minutes. It was a super quick mover. I got $180 for it. And when you put it into the e-profit calculator at a $10 purchase price, guys, I made $140 on just this single jersey alone. So a huge winner there. The best of the weekend for me, no doubt about it. And a couple of other little goodies there in there as well. Lovely, thank you very much. You too. So a really important task that I've been meaning to get done over the last few weeks was the shelving. We've finally got two sets of shelves put up for my inventory and I'm actually blown away by how much you can actually fit on these shelves since I've gone up just a couple of days ago. A lot of questions on my Instagram about where I bought them from. They are a locally Queensland based company. Uh, the company's called Apple Shelving and uh, look, I've bought two of the same size shelves for my inventory. It's 1.8 meters by two meters by 0 0.6 meters. They fit the storage tubs absolutely perfect. As you can see, I can fit five across uh, and the weight that I've got can hold 200 kilos per shelf. And to be honest with you, I was actually quite surprised at just how easily you can accumulate 200 kilos worth of stock. Um, so I'm very much borderline with what I've got set up at the moment for weight. Um, if I have my time again, I probably might have bought just a slightly, maybe a thousand kilos total, 250 to 300 kilos per shelf worth of weight. Um, because it, it has built up pretty quick, but I, I'm okay for now. Um, total cost was $360. It's just really freed it all up. It just, it doesn't feel like there's as much stock as there was when I initially had the first layout of pretty much just having everything coming off the floor. So super pumped about it. It looks awesome. And hopefully when I move on into whatever's to come, I can take these shelves along with me. What do you think? What do you think? Hey? So much space, isn't there? So much space out here to put all more stock. We can go out and buy more things now, hey? Yeah, pretty cool. Having said all of that though, I've got a massive confession to make and you might be able to see what the confession is right here. I actually don't have a skewing system. I know, I've never had a skewing system. From day one, starting my eBay business, I never put a skew in place to make it easy for me to find my orders. And initially when I was only selling a few items a day, it was never a concern. But now I'm up to about eight or nine sales every single day and I've got everything just thrown into random tubs. I know that all of that is hats along the top and pants down the bottom. That's everything for the way that I've set it up. But I don't know exactly which set of pants is in which of those 12 to 15 tubs. So 
it's been a real big blunder that I made right at the very beginning and it was pure laziness for the reason as to why I've never really got on top of it. I've known that I've needed a SKU system in place for a very, very long time, but I've just never got around to doing it. And every single time I buy more stock, I'm just adding it to the mix and it's just causing the job to try and get it back on track. I figured I'd, I should update you guys because like I said, it's been on my mind for a while. This is the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about. I should really mention that I am going to be chipping away at that SKU system and hopefully by the time I go to the US in a month's time, it will be up to date. I will keep you posted. Now, as for the band, guys, this is the next update. I've had some real troubles with my band and if you've been regularly viewing the channel, you'll know of my history when it comes to my Hyundai iLoad. I had it stolen a year ago. I've had to put significant works about five grand worth of works into the new one that I purchased, which wasn't a very good buy. And again, it has continued to let me down, so much so that it is sitting out on the grass, not able to be driven, it is that bad. And it, is, it has caused me to have to go out and buy what I'm currently sitting in right now. I've got a, a new Mazda 3. Uh, look, it is a really reliable Mazda 3, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, oh, look, it's, it's 100,000 uh, kilometers on the odometer, one owner, full logbook service history from Mazda. My parents have driven Mazda 3s. I know they're a really good car. Um, fingers crossed I won't run into any troubles. That's the aim of this purchase that I've just made. So fingers crossed there won't be much, too much more car talk um, on this channel because this will be driving like a dream. But the ILO, that's going to have to get rid of. And, and it's really not coming at the right time because it's put me in the hole a few thousand dollars just before I'm about to go and spend a few more thousand dollars on this America trip. So the timing has just been really terrible. But fingers crossed right now, sitting in a Mazda 3 it will hopefully get me through the next few years. Now guys, I get a lot of questions on my Instagram page and I'm always happy to answer them. But when I start to see multiple questions of the same thing come through, I tend to like to put it into these YouTube videos. So the one that I've got for you today is questions around this Easter long weekend that we've had. A lot of people, I guess, anticipating that they were going to get more sales than they, they received. And I guess a few people were down on that and they were asking me reasons as to why. They were asking if I personally had less sales over this weekend. And I really don't think that's where your mindset should be at, especially if you're a brand new reseller. One thing you can't control is how many sales you receive. That, that just takes care of itself. And the way it takes care of itself is to slowly be growing your eBay store size. And I think that's where your mindset should try and be every single day. So if you think about the big stores out there like Target and Walmart and Kmart and all these sort of stores, they've got thousands of items up for grabs. And that's what helps them obviously be able to turn over the number of sales that they do. So if you've got an eBay store of 50 odd items, you can't really expect to be turning over too many sales, but you can expect to be putting in the work and listing up as many items as you can to turn that into a 100 item store or a 300 item store. The more quality sellable items that you have over a long period of time regularly going up is gonna allow those sales that you're fearing about not coming through start to come through. So switch the mindset, don't be stressed about the sales, don't even focus on the sales until you've got at least 500 items in your store. How about that? Do that and, and let me know where, you're, uh, where your mindset's at when you finally do hit 500. If you've reached this part of the video, you're a part of the 30% Club. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate your support. I'll leave you with this video right here, which goes through a bunch of what sold items that are hopefully some good ones for you to be finding for your rebate business. Thanks for being here, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.